In the following tutorial, we'll look at setting up a ProSig P8000 data acquisition system using multiple sample rates on different channels. I'll begin by launching the DATS analysis software. And once the DATS analysis software has loaded, I will use the DATS data acquisition shortcut. And what we see in front of us now is the particular configuration of the P8000 system which I have for the purposes of this tutorial today. We have a P8012, a ProSig P8012, and this consists of three modules. Module A, Module B, and Module C. Module A is a four-channel BNC analog input. Module B is a four-channel BNC analog input, and Module C is an eight-channel thermocouple input. I'm going to select a sample rate of 8192. I'm going to select an auxiliary sample rate of 50 samples per second per channel, and I'm going to select an acquisition length of 10 seconds. I'm going to save the data capture to a file on my hard drive and I'm going to save it onto my desktop and I'm going to call it capture 001. It's important that I use a number on the end of the data capture file name as this can be automatically incremented by the DATS data acquisition software. I'm going to set up um, some channels. My first channel is a microphone my second channel is also a microphone, so I'm going to label them microphone A and microphone B. Connected to channel 5, we have a signal generator, a function generator, which can produce sine waves or square waves or sawtooth waves. So this is um, connected to the input channel 5 on the P8012, and I'm going to call it signal generator. And we also have various thermocouples connected to the P8000. I'm going to enable all of the channels in this particular configuration so that we can see all of the channels in operation at the same time. And I'm going to set up the microphone channels first of all. Microphones measure pressure and they use units of Pascal. So I'm going to set both of the microphones to be of type Pascal and I'm going to set the transducer class to IEPE for both of those sensors as they're both IEPE microphones. And both these microphones have a sensitivity of 50 millivolts per Pascal. So I'm going to set those sensitivities there as well. For my microphone channels we have a sample rate of 8192 and as we already said the auxiliary sample rate which is for the low speed thermocouple channels has a sample rate of 50 samples per second per channel. For the signal generator we're going to select a different sample rate and it must be one of these options available here and I'm going to select 256 samples per second per channel and as you can see all four have now changed for module B. When you change one, you change all. We can have different sample rates on different modules. So here we have three different modules and three different sample rates. 8192 samples per second per channel on the first four channels and 256 samples per second per channel on the following four channels. And then the final eight thermocouple channels are sampled at 50 samples per second per channel. And you can also see that the P8000 in question has some tachometer inputs and these are 16 times oversampled, so they're 16 times higher than the analog rates they are equivalent to, or they are connected to. You can see the filter column shows you the bandwidth available for each particular channel. So for the first four channels we have just over 3000 hertz of bandwidth. For the second four channels we have just over 100 hertz and for the eight thermocouples we have 20 hertz of available bandwidth. I'm going to save this setup matrix 
onto my hard drive, onto my desktop, and I'm going to call it Setup. So we are now in, in a position ready to capture data using multiple sample rates.